Hello and welcome to another advanced skill video. In this video, we are gonna combine several external tools and utilities that we are gonna use for content creation, creation of CG characters. We are gonna look at motion capture through video. We are also going to be assembling our characters as advanced skeleton rigs and then exporting to Unreal and drive live facial capture performance using Unreal Live Link. So let's get started. And uh, the first thing we're going to see is that there is something called the Plask project, a very nice free web application that uh, creates motion capture clips using video as an input. As we're gonna be testing out this now, we will uh, get our CG characters from uh, another free resource, a Mixamo, which is by Adobe and it's a free large library of 3D characters and uh, as well as a large database of animations. So we're going to start off with capturing a video clip and as a source video clip what we'll do we'll jump over to TikTok and we got a funny clip here that we're going to be using as our video source for the motion capture. Okay, great clip there uh, with TikTok, when you run in a browser, it's very easy to get the video file out. Uh, you just right click and go save video. So saving this clip, I'm calling this TikTok. Then we jump over to Plask. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit get started, which will open the 3D interface running in the web browser. We're gonna choose a one of the templates character to work with to visualize the clip. We'll go with mannequin. Now to sh make him show up in the scene, you right click and choose visualization that shows our character. Then we hit the plus button to add to our library and just drag and drop our TikTok video clip into Plask. And there's a button here called extract motion. We're going to give this clip a name, also calling this TikTok. And that's about a one minute processing time to extract motion capture from this clip. And we now have our TikTok clip here. And to see this clip applied to the mannequin, we'll just drag and drop the clip onto the character. And let's zoom in on our guy here and hit play. So that is looking quite good. Now we are going to download this as a FBX animation and we'll do so by right clicking on the clip and hit export and there we go we got our FBX animation on the desktop and we'll grab the clip on the desktop and just drag and drop it straight into Maya and we can see we have our mannequin character doing the fancy dance now instead of the mannequin character let's go ahead and take a look at Mixamo in Mixamo there is a large number of pre-made character that you can download and use for free. So let's use one of these guys. Uh, maybe we'll go with this cool looking guy with his cigar sticking out of his mouth. And this guy is called the boss and let's download. And there we go. We have our character as a FBX file and we can also drag and drop this into Maya. So we have the boss here and we have our motion capture clip. To start out what we're gonna do we're gonna apply a advanced skeleton rig to this character. So let's hide our dancing mannequin until we're ready to use him. Let's start up advanced skeleton go into the section called tools and hit the button that says name matcher. Now the main function of the name matcher is to create a advanced skeleton rig that will fit onto a character from an external application that comes with a deformation skeleton such as this. Now we can see in the first section called template that there's already a preset for several applications such as character creator, metahumans, 
etc. So we're gonna set this to Mixamo. And then next, we'll go to the functions. Actually, before we go to functions, there is an option here for namespace, which in for Mixamo, they will actually come in with namespaces. So in here, we gotta use this. Select any of the joints on the character and hit detect from selected. You can see that that now has detected the namespace and put it in there. Then we'll go to function, just hit the button that says create and place fit skeleton. You see we get a fit skeleton that is aligned already to the character and we can just hit build advanced skeleton. And there we go, we got an advanced skeleton rig that is matching our imported character. However, it's currently not yet controlling it. We can see that the rig is not moving the character. Now we're gonna attach it, but note that we have two options here. We have the simple option of constraint to joints. Let's just hit it and we can see that that works. We can now move the rig and the character follows. I'm gonna undo a step to the point where it's no longer attached. This time I'm gonna hit transfer skinning. You can see in the outliner now that the original skeleton that came with this character is now gone. Skinning is now attached to those advanced skeleton deformation joints, which is later on gonna allow us to export to Unreal. All right, we're done with the name matcher for now. We close that. We have our character at the boss here with a fully functional advanced skeleton rig. It's time to apply the dancing motion. So let's unhide our mannequin guy over here. And for this, we're gonna use another tool called the mocap matcher. And we'll open any of the selected tools, go to the animation dropdown menu and open the function called mocap matcher. And again, this tool works somewhat similar to the name matcher in the way that there's a set of presets from different applications that we can choose. We have a motion that comes from Plask, so we're gonna choose Plask. We'll then go to the function and follow the instructions. Number one, import mocap skeleton. We already have that here. Then it says select the mocap skeleton and hit the button and scan. Uh, that's just looking for certain naming patterns. Then it says scale the mocap skeleton to match your character. So sure, we'll go ahead and do that. So the mocap comes with a top node and we'll use that top node to scale the character. We'll also use it to move it so that the character is roughly in the same place. And next we're gonna hit the button here that says zero out mocap joints. But before we do so, what I recommend is that you change your range to start at negative one and keep the negative one frame for the attachment frame. So we'll go to negative one, we'll make sure the auto key option here is on and hit zero out mocap joints. And you can see that that puts the character in a T pose. Now if we scrub the timeline, the motion capture clip is still there. But as we go to frame negative one, he's in a T pose. So now that it's in the T pose, we will do a additional slight adjustment to the placement of the character and the scale will make him a little bit smaller and make sure his feet's touching the ground and overall he's pretty well aligning with our character. Next, hit the button that says the rig to all FK and then connect mocap skeleton. Now, You'll see that both our character and the mocap is uh, moving around and dancing. We can hide our mocap rig and watch our character doing the funky dance. Now we can go back and make adjustment to the attachment point if we want to. For example, you can see that as this character is dancing, he is leaning a bit much backwards as if he is about to fall down. And if we go to our attachment point and look at both the characters, we can see that this is then caused by the natural stand of the boss. He's being more laid back his spine than the mannequin. So what we can do, we go to frame negative one, we hit disconnect mocap. We'll then select this, some of the spine controls for the boss and we'll make him stand up more straight in our initial pose. And we'll reattach him with the connect more cap skeleton button. And if we now hit play and watch the dance, we'll see he's uh, no longer look like he's falling backwards. He's more balanced. All right, so uh, as I mentioned, we also wanna export this character over to Unreal and be using the Unreal Live Link face 
application to drive the facial performance. In order to do so, we're gonna need to give this guy a advanced gun face rig. Now, there are several other videos that goes through in depth, step by step, this process of uh, the face rig. So in this video, we're gonna just go ahead and time lapse right through this. Okay, and we have a advanced cut on face rig and in the preference we did make sure to turn on the Apple AR kit option which has built this controller, the Apple looking symbol icon here and that controller has all the attributes that corresponds to the way AR kit works. Now that's the Apple depth camera API functionalities that uh, applications such as uh, Unreal Live Link uses. And we can quickly test that our character here is working. Now in order for this to be working with live face capture in Unreal, it's going to need to be blend shapes. So we can do that. You just go open the uh, face section under the blend shapes subsection. Hit the button that says convert driving system to blend shapes. And now that that's done, let's go into export and choose FBX export. I'll call this dancing boss. And in the FBX export settings, we'll just also make sure that the animation checkbox is on and bake animation checkbox is on and to include the blend shapes. And then if we jump over to Unreal, we have a folder here for FBX. Just grab the FBX file here called dancing boss drag and drop it into Unreal. Now in Unreal, we want to make sure that we find the option called blend shapes, actually called morph targets here. And we want to take sure that checkbox is on. Now that's located in the advanced section called import morph targets. Make sure this is on. Then we hit import all. And if we locate our character, we can see he's here and our animation clip is here. What we can do is drag and drop the animation clip straight into our scene and hit play. Now the last step we're gonna do, we're gonna connect it at uh, Unreal Space Live Motion Capture to controlling the face of our fancy dancing boss here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now to do that first, make sure you have an iPhone. This only works with an iPhone because it's using that depth camera that only the iPhones currently have. And from the App Store, you can download Live Link Face. It's a free application from the guys at Unreal Engine. Then to get the controller actually working, what you do is you identify what's your skeletal mesh uh, right click on that and say create animation blueprint and if you open up the blueprint it's probably going to look something like this we can take a look here's the character's face now by default there'll just be one node which is the output pose and in here we just drag and drop we can type face and we should s actually we're not seeing the node that we're after and that's because by default it's not loaded the plugin that's required for live link so let's do that first, go to edit plugins. You can filter here, type live. And you can see here we have the live link. Turn on the plugin. And we also want to search for ARKit and this one here called Apple ARKit. We got to make sure this plugin is also on. So next we'll open up the uh, blueprint that we created. This time as we drag and drop that result pin and we type live, we can see that there's now a available uh, node here called live link pose. And there's a drop down menu and we choose our phone from the drop down menu. And straight away we can see that uh, we have uh, live capturing performance. My face is currently being tracked onto this guy. And if we want, we can close the blueprint here, go back into our scene and hit play. And we can see it all coming together. Our character, the boss from Mixamo, doing the fancy dance captured from TikTok, converted to motion capture using Plask. Here, 
doing his dance and the facial performance being controlled real time with Unreal Live Face Link. So that's covering a variety of different topics and how they all kind of connect together with import exports in and out of Advanced Garden. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.